Hey everybody, it's Andre with the Eagles Off Field Guide. Just coming to you with a quick video to show you what I typically do when I set up a, a computer to be able to access the schedule um, and the chart screen all at the same time, uh, just really quick. So first thing first, uh, go down to your taskbar. That's the bar at the bottom of your screen. Right click, go to the taskbar settings. And what you want to do is scroll down to this combined taskbar button. And you want to change that to never. What will happen is you can just see right there, my meeting controls and my settings are now clearly visible that they're both open at the same time. So my meeting controls and my taskbar settings, I can see that they're open. You couldn't see that before. Let me go back so you can see what we're talking about. See, see how that it is? They're stacked on top of each other and I'd have to hover over them to see what's going on. So now let's go back to never. Now we can clearly see what's going on down here. And now let's see what happens when that comes to Eaglesoft. So I can see my meeting controls are open, but I can also see Eaglesoft is open down here. So I'm gonna open Eaglesoft and I'm in my chart screen and I'm gonna open up my schedule. And now I can clearly see Eaglesoft is running and my schedule's running. Instead of having to hover over it and see what's going on, I can quickly see what's going on. So let's go to a day where I have patients. I'm gonna grab this patient and I'm going to open up his chart. Now, this is only a first time. The first time you do this, this is what's going to happen. So I'm going to have to actually open up Eaglesoft, open up my chart, and now I can put my chart in front of my clinical screen. And I can easily see my IntelliCares down here. Now, watch this. So I do whatever I'm going to do. You know, I can chart something. Let's say we're going to do root canal, propose that. That's all done. Save this. Don't close the chart. Just go back to your schedule and I can clearly see my schedules right here. So I go back to my schedule. I grab my next patient coming in and I go to chart. Now watch what happens. So I highlighted my patient. I looked at my schedule. Everybody wants to see their schedule. I highlight my patient and I go to chart. Now watch what happens. Boom, it flipped right to my next patient and it went right back to my operatory and minimized my schedule. You see my schedules open, my charts open and Eagles Hoff charting, uh, the clinical screen's open, but I didn't close this. So now I can do whatever I need to do here. I would hit save on whatever I'm doing with the patient. Even if I have to open, if I go to my, my notes, I can work on my notes, do whatever I need to do here. All right, don't close your chart, save it, go to your schedule, grab your next patient coming in and hit chart. And see how quickly it just flipped over to my next patient. It didn't close anything. I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to go back to anything. All I have to do is go to schedule, next patient, grab my chart, switch just patients, goes to the next chart. Simple. I can quickly and easily see my IntelliCares. I can tell my schedule's open down there, but I don't have to worry about this. The only thing is if I close the chart, now I've got to go back to my schedule. I've got to go to my next patient. I've got to click on the chart. All right, now I've got to put the chart back on top of the operatory screen. And now I can start the process over again. But as long as I don't close this chart, go to my schedule, choose my next patient, go to chart, it flips back to the operatory. So as long as you continue to have your um, your chart items open, or I'm sorry, your Eaglesoft items open down here. And as long as you don't close the chart screen, just hit save, go back to your schedule, grab your next patient, click chart. Hope that makes sense.